It's like talking to a wall when you don't look at me I wanna speak my mind and tell you how I feel It's like talking to a wall when you don't look at me Please just look at me I'm a January 20th. Yeah. And I guess where we're headed? Headed to the house. Headed to the house. We don't have to say the lot anymore, but <laughs> every time I say we're going there, I'm like, we're going to the lot. But now we're going to the house. It's a whole house there, y'all. So I don't know if this is the start of the vlog or if I'm inserting this in the middle of the vlog, but. Oh, he was so ready to say hi to you guys. My baby. So little man's coming with us as well. My daughter was supposed to babysit, but she has to cheer at my youngest daughter's school for their 100 days of school. So he's gonna have to come with us. But if this is the beginning of the vlog, let me go ahead and do my little spiel. My name is Francesca Jeanette. I I am a mom of three, wife of one. <laughs> Jack of all trades, child. I do a little bit of everything. Got probably a little bit of Jamaican in me, okay? This channel is all about everything beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and now home vlogging. Sharing a little bit of our journey with our semi custom new build with you all from start to finish. And then after that, it's gonna be house to home. I I am so excited to have you here. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for supporting me. If you are new to my channel, make sure you click that red subscribe button below so that you'll always be notified of when I post a new video. And you can get notified in real time by clicking that notification bell as well. Be sure to like this video, comment your favorite part of the video, and make sure that if you are also in a home vlogging journey, yourself you comment your handle below so i can support you like you support your girl so we are about to go into this model home get our hard hats and i'll take you on a journey with our pre drywall inspection see you soon all right y'all not much done since we came last time and saw like the little bit of hardy plank but it's a lot of action going on today so Hopefully I can get some good footage for you guys. And I do see a couple of new things out on the lawn that got delivered. So let's check it out. We have some brick, you guys. Some brick delivered. So you guys, we have electrical. <laughs> we have electrical. Alright, so check it out. What we'll do... Uh, we'll go. These are not... These are <laughs> all out throughout the house. Everything else will be traditional bats. Um, bats. All these will be labeled where they can go on. The whole deal. First place we call them here. We have one garage door opener right here. Where the blue boxes are. The light out here. Switches for the garage door and the light are up right next to It's a good. That the, uh, the acrylic one would have been. Which would have been. Six feet. Six feet. Below, which would have been below it. Below. Okay. Yeah, so, I would expect it to be below. Okay, but we can get uh, the people that did it to finish it off after closing. If you wanted to go like all the way to the ceiling. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it definitely doesn't go all the way to the ceiling. But. Okay. Now are they gonna patch this up right here? This um. Dry line. Yeah, we'll have to do that when we'll have to do that on the inspection the Okay. It's actually, you know what? It's actually not because you don't have the shower walls. It's not even needed. We're going to be putting uh, backer board all the way across. Okay. Just like we would drywall anyway. So. Okay. 
And these um, lights in the ceiling, the little, what is that for? I know this, but the switch, the box. That is for your uh, smoke slash carbon. Got it, okay. Cause I saw that in the other house. I was like, why do they have electrical boxes in yeah, the ceiling? So I think I asked you about that. I was like, they have extra boxes in the ceiling. In every room you're gonna have a smoke detector and in the common area, the hallway, in the drain tubes, that's your HVAC. That's okay. your air register, your air supply right there. And you'll see as we go through, there's a lot more of them. Into that attic and out or back into the system. Oh. Will those be um, capped, right? They'll have like a little white cap yeah. all around? Okay. Yeah. Now I keep sending my mom videos <laughs> um, showing her, cause I'm trying to get her to come down. She might not come down until closing, to be honest. I guess it's, uh, the TV, mm -hmm. the tube to get up there, the outlet up there. Okay. And then you also have um, the switch for your pendant. This mm -hmm. is your fireplace, and then you're gonna have an outlet in here as well. Okay. It's just, we, it's two different trades, so we drew down there to do a three stack. You gotta drill it through the top of that wall to get it in the wall. Oh, okay. Like a little hole yeah. to pull it, pull it down? Yeah, and get on the floor. Go cabinet, cabinet. You need your range right there where that black gas pipe is. That's your range hookup. Okay. So above, you have an outlet for your microwave exhaust vent. This vent's in the wrong spot. I'm moving it over here. Over, yeah. <laughs> Everything will be in line over here, so that'll be in that cabinet above the microwave. Okay. It'll out, and then you got a cabinet, cabinet there. Is there plumbing underneath here? under the basement that we could run up to do like a pot filler? Will we bring oh, that yeah. down you, from the basement? Yeah, no, there should be... Okay, here. Um, yeah, you got water supply there, so you should be able to hook up on there. It just depends, when we go downstairs, we can see whether it's way over there or over here. Okay. This might be the end of the run, and you'd have to add to it, but in your outlet Two pipes, outlets, yep. Same thing, adding cabinets. Upper cabinets. You must be selling a lot of houses here. This is your pre wires and then LED and then pre wire. So, uh, there. yep, that's where my vacuum's gonna go. That I have to plug in. Now, all these you'll go over. Here's the. Yep, that's the landing light. Yep, and then you got your landing lights there. You got yep. three. High tech, it's got this filter in there with three or four different filters in it. Um, so. So that everything can stay in conditioned space. So those little vent covers about two inches wide. Call, go over them. For here. Um, and then once we get done, an orientation will be a door on it and everything. Okay. Super close to the front of the back, it's going to bury a little bit. But yours is basically the back one, I think, on this side. And then we'll do the next. Okay. So we'll get see the can for the exterior lights. Yeah. And then you got your floodlights, the wires hanging right uh -huh. under those windows. Um, so you can change your meteor, change your bulbs, you don't have to get a light out. Okay. Change them from the windows? Yep. Uh! 
<laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm, a, I'm actually in camp. I'm, I'm just out of Woodstock. We're walking past the construction. So yeah, you probably are going to I hope so, because my four-year-old, he'll be jumping off of this no. every day <laughs> for thrills. All right, and there's the two lights. Going next week, since they finished siding it. So I'm hoping if I get lucky, I can have it sided and painted brick next week. So you'll be able to see the outside, the colors and stuff. Pre drywall inspection is done. Everything is pretty much where it's supposed to be. We had about three things that weren't where they were supposed to be. And apparently, they had an old drawing of where we want the outlet place. But I did a list of exactly where I wanted all of the outlets, all of the pre wire. Somehow, after months of talking about it, that email was disregarded. So they put a couple of things in locations that were not up to date. So those are gonna be moved. Um, let me show you all what I'm talking about. Come here, babe. So for some reason when I asked for pendant pre-wire, even though I said and sent pictures of where I of where I wanted the lights to go, I said on the wall. They put the pre-wire in the ceiling. The pre-wire is supposed to go on the wall because we want scon two sconces up there. So they have to change this pre-wire and bring it in through the wall. That's one change. Another change is the loft light. We have two LEDs right here. The black one and the blue one. I wanted our pre-wire for our chandelier to go right in the middle, but they put it all the way back here. Even the diagram that they had, this still isn't in the right place. So they're gonna move this further up so that it's more so directly over this. I did not realize the LED lights were going to be so far up over the stair railing if that makes sense i thought it was going to be more so above here but they can never guarantee where they're going to have their um light set in the house which was a big thing we, we can't guarantee where the outlets and the lights are going to be fine but if i'm telling you a specific location of where i want it to be and i'm paying for it to be there that's where it needs to go, point blank period. I don't care what diagrams you have. If y'all didn't update the diagram based on the options that I chose and the locations I chose for those options, that's on y'all. For instance, my primary closet, I added two outlets. This one's here correctly. This one's here based on the old diagram. The new diagram, which should have been updated, should have had the outlet here. In my last email that I sent, to our builder's agent requested that we move that outlet from this wall beside the door to this wall behind the water closet so the wall directly behind the toilet i wanted the outlet here so now they had to mark to move that outlet here so it's important when you come to your pre-drywall inspection to have one the list of your sales options, and two, have a list of your design options, and three, have exactly where you wanted everything that you paid for. Bring your own tape measure so you can measure and make sure those things that you added are exactly where they need to be. Because once the drywall goes in, stuff can't be changed. And the builder will say, well, we didn't know, we didn't know, we didn't know. There are email chains of me telling you exactly where I want it set to go. You allow me to go in another house to be able to measure where I wanted these things to go. So it's no, well things were done too late or we found out too late. You got this information a month ago. The electricity was just put in last week. 
you had time to update whatever needed to be updated. So now you gotta change things because stuff wasn't updated when you got the new information. Ain't my fault, but it will get changed because we're paying thousands of dollars for it. That's what's gonna happen. So that's that. Pre-drywall inspection is done and Oh, I didn't show you guys. Well, I did. You'll see it in earlier clips. But the HVAC is in. Do you see? HVAC is in. So all over. So you see the plumbing and you see the HVAC. Electrical is in. We have switches. Sorry for the noise, y'all. They're actually getting on the house right now. They're putting the hardy plank up. But we have the fireplace switch, switches for our extra um, sconces that are gonna go on our fireplace nook. And we have our floor outlet. Y'all see that? That's gonna be for our plug on our table next to our couch. We have our two extra countertop height outlets that we added because I'm going to add a countertop here and floating shelves. Those floating shelves in the kitchen are gonna mirror the floating shelves by the fireplace. So, I'm not gonna walk you all around the entire house because I'm ready to go. They did add our pre-wire lighting for the chandeliers you're gonna have in the foyer. So it's basically gonna be LED hanging light, LED hanging light. So I may actually put four hanging lights depending on how drama I wanna be. <laughs> so there's one more thing I needed to check and then I'm on my way. Yep. Make sure all the out extra outlets you pay for are there. Make sure your TV outlets are as high as you wanted them. I feel like our outlet boxes for our TV should have been lower. I feel like they should be. I'm probably measured too high. But if we get a big TV, that should be fine. Now that I think about it. We'll have pretty big TVs, so we'll see. If worst comes to worst, we can always move the outlets down. I've done patchwork for drywall before, so <laughs> it'll be okay. Okay, y'all, that's it for today. We are done with the pre-drywall inspection. Um, Yeah, just make sure you become prepared. Make sure you come ready to fight for your rights, okay? If you pay for something, make sure it's in there. Make sure it's done correctly. Keep track of all your emails. Document, document, document. That's all I can say. Document, document, document. Because people will be quick to be like, well, you didn't say that or that wasn't written here. Yes, it was. Look at December 13, 2022. It's right there in email. And so-and-so was copied too. Stay on top of your ish. But... I'm gonna close this um, portion of the vlog out. So just wanted to let you guys see what was going on. It is super loud, so I apologize in, the, in advance. They are putting the siding up on the house, which is why I usually don't like to come during the day because it's super loud and it's super windy during the day. So it might be a lot of um, just noise and wind and it's hard to edit that stuff out. So I'm gonna go get some food and I will check you all later. Y'all see them working on the house? Hey y'all, hey workers. Look who had to come with us when me and Travis had to switch out. Hey, say to the vlog. Oh, so yeah, it's time to go, but it's coming along, y'all. Let's check it out some more. Yes, workers, get the house done. Get it done, son. Yes, measure, measure, measure. Make sure it's right. I know that's right. 
all right y'all so that's it I'm, I'm about to go for real so basically siding should be done by early next week insulation should be in by late next week county inspections are being done next week as well and then after that we should be getting drywall by beginning february fingers crossed so slight one week one and a half week delay but we'll see how this go once drywall gets in it it should speed on up pretty fast after that so i'm gonna go because my lips chap my hair acting a mess it's getting windy so you probably hear all of that so sorry but um i will check you out later if i don't put out another vlog within the next week have a great week have a great weekend thank you for watching my channel thank you for liking commenting and please hit that red subscribe button again so that you don't miss any videos that i post or any notifications of me posting a new video and you can keep engaged and up to date on our new house project all right i will see you all later Bye. hey y'all hey happy birthday tuesday 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 not birthday crazy man has doritos all over his lips uh, you shouldn't be in the video because your face is crusty it's not. It is. Go eat your Doritos. Bye. So, wanted to bring to y'all's attention some new products that I received from Timu. Timu. I was honored enough to be approached by Timu to be a brand ambassador. So, this portion of the video will be sponsored by Timu. Timu is an online boutique specializing in women's and men's fashion, home decor, appliances, electronics, beauty, all of that good stuff for a very low, low, low affordable price. Shipping is quick, fast, and easy, even from overseas. If you are not a part of the Timu crew, you need to go ahead and join today. Of course, every product that I go over today will be linked, plus a special coupon code that will be listed below at the end of this review. I have a couple of products I wanted to go over with you all. <laughs> have a seat, sir. Thank you. The first item today is actually a four-piece set. It is a collection of figurines, which are goals. My new home is going to have like a gold, black and white with green plant aesthetic. So right now, I oh, there's a lot of styrofoam in here. Right now, I'm getting all things gold, black, cream, white. Okay, so this four-piece collection is a collection of gold figurines. And this one is like a thinking figurine. You know, just thinking about life. <laughs> this one is a sitting figurine with a marble that goes on there. So basically, girl is like carrying all the burdens of the world, child. She got the whole world in her hands, okay? We have this one, which is probably Kylie's vibe because she's into wearing the headphones now. Sis is listening to her music. She's chilling to the beat. So that's more Kylie's, Kylie's vibe, which is like Kirsten's vibe. My youngest girl, she loves to read. And this figurine is holding a book. I would say again, Kirsten, Kylie with the headphones. This is daddy thinking. <laughs> and this is me with the whole world. In my hands, child, trying to juggle it all. Should have had three of these, cause I be juggling it all. So these are the four figurines that I got. Again, you can actually order these individually. They also come in a set of two that you can buy any mix and match you want or any combination of the four that you want. You can get a set of two as well. So I will drop prices. I will drop links below to these little figurines because the prices may change so I don't really want to post them here on the screen but the links will be there so that you can go in and order these but they are so cute you can style them on books you can style them on your bookshelves 
You can style them on floating shelves if you like. Of course, high enough so that the kids can't reach them. Hmm. The next item that I received was this three-piece strainer. So unlike my last Timu review, um, which was basically women's wear, I wanted to go more so in the home decor, home accessory type avenue because of course we're buying a house so why not get things that i can use in the house so we have this three-piece strainer set got it in silver i wish they had it in gold and maybe i should have looked but i only saw it in silver so this will suffice until i can get some gold ones but it's three sizes have a small medium and a large i noticed when i was making tea like two weeks ago my tea bag kind of broke just by me stirring it with the spoon. I don't know if it's because the tea bags were old, but I was so mad because I was like, there's no way, I have no way of straining this tea out of the water that it diffused in. So I basically had to throw the whole cup away. So now that I have something like this, if that were to ever happen again, I could either just use this and put the tea bag in and pour hot water over it and just let it steep on the top of the cup which this would be really good. Kylie, grab me a, a mug real quick so I can show them what I'm talking about. This would be really good to just steep the tea bag so I don't have to fully submerge it in the water. But even if I did, if the tea bag were to burst ever again, then I can just pour the tea and the remnants into another mug and still save my tea and not have to drink all of the, the tea flakes. But what I was saying, I can put the tea bag in here like this and just pour hot water over it and that will help steep it too. So that's one use for the small. The medium could be just, you know, to sift some powdered sugar or some flour if you're into that type of baking situation. What else could you use this for? I don't know. Mm. Like dusting your cupcakes or your donuts or your French toast with powder, sugar, that's something. But today, we're gonna use this one to strain some peaches. My family loves canned fruit, but sometimes the extra syrup is just too much. So we're gonna strain some canned peaches so that we can eat those for dessert tonight and possibly use some powdered sugar or some brown sugar over using these. So we're gonna wash these real quick and we'll be right back. The strainers are washed off. Kylie has the peaches in syrup. And now we're going to pour the juice out into the strainer. And perfectly it strains. <laughs> so let me get a spoon because we're going to put these babies in some glass jars. Doesn't that look like eggs? <laughs> so as you can see, it's straining really good. That's mostly all of the juice. So we're just gonna put these in here. And I'm gonna do a little bit of brown sugar. I'm gonna do a small one. Kylie's gonna get the small strainer because some of the actual brown sugar is clumped. So, I'm gonna get another spoon to help press it down in there. Yep, these are actually to help the strainer not go in there like that. So if you have clumpy flour or clumpy powdered sugar, you can just have it go in the strainer like that. And then we'll do a little bit of whipped cream. We're making like a little mini truffle, right? Mm -hmm. Looks like something mama would do. <laughs> For sure. And grab the cinnamon. So once we get to the top, we can top it off. And make sure your strainer is all the way dry. I think because we just washed these, the brown sugar wants to clump up. It's coming through, but make sure your strainer is dry. We're just gonna pack that in there. Just like that. Like Auntie Tab says, like so like that. One more thing of whipped cream. I'm gonna let Kylie do that. Kylie is such a good cook, y'all. And then a little tisk tisk of cinnamon. Yes. So pretty. 
So we're gonna make another one and then we are going to taste. So I literally just came up with that recipe like off the top of my head because at first I was just gonna strain the peaches and that's it. That's all y'all was gonna get because mm -mm, it's too much. But thank you to my sous chef Kylie. We're gonna taste these now. Man wants to taste them and Kirsten will probably have a fit because she's at practice right now. I'll make her some later. Here are the peach truffles that we made using the strainer, the three piece strainer set. If you're interested in getting this three piece strainer set or the figurines that we showed you earlier, either individual figurines or you can get two in a set, then make sure you use my code below West947 and I will include a link in the description box. Y'all, isn't that gorgeous? You ready to eat some? That's why he's doing that. You ready to eat some? Cheers! like peach pie, doesn't it? Just without the crust. Mm. You know what? Yeah. Next time I'll probably get some pie crust and just bake the crust and then layer the crust into this. Wouldn't that be good? Yes. It'll be a, like a peach pie or peach cobbler, but without all the extra work. Mm -hmm. I might do that. Mm. Mm. That's good. You eating off everybody's spoon, ain't <laughs> So, thanks again, Timu, for partnering with me and allowing me the opportunity to try your amazing products. Again, link below in the description box. Make sure you order, 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 order. It's never too early to order for Christmas. So get to shopping, y'all. Thank you so much, Timu, for sponsoring this video. We'll be back, because we about to tear these up. And I have to make Kirsten one before she gets out of cheer practice. So we'll see ya. Say bye. 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 It's never too order to early for Christmas. <laughs> It's never too early to order for Christmas, so get to shopping, y'all.